Kickboxing is a group of stand-up combat sports based on kicking and punching, historically developed from karate, Muay Thai, and Western boxing. Kickboxing is practiced for self-defense, general fitness, or as a contact sport. Japanese kickboxing originated in the 1960s, with competitions held since then. American kickboxing originated in the 1970s and was brought to prominence in September 1974, when the Professional Karate Association held the first world championships. Historically, kickboxing can be considered a hybrid martial art formed from the combination of elements of various traditional styles. This approach became increasingly popular since the 1970s, and since the 1990s. Kickboxing has contributed to the emergence of mixed martial arts via further hybridization with ground fighting techniques from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and folk wrestling. There is no single international governing body. International governing bodies include International Combat Organization, World Association of Kickboxing Organizations. World Kickboxing Association, International Sport Karate Association, International Kickboxing Federation, World Sport Kickboxing Federation, among others. Consequently, there is no single kickboxing world championship, and champion titles are issued by individual promotions, such as K1, Glory, SUPERKOMBAT, Lumpiney Boxing Stadium, among others. Bouts organized under different governing bodies apply different rules, such as allowing the use of knees or clinching, etc. Terminology The term kickboxing can be used in a narrow and in a wide sense. The narrow use is restricted to the styles that self-identify as kickboxing, i.e., Japanese kickboxing and American kickboxing. In the wider sense, it includes all stand-up combat sports that allow both punching and kicking, including surveyed, combat hopak, muay thai, Indian boxing, Burmese boxing, sanda, and certain styles of karate. The term kickboxing itself was introduced in the 1960s as a Japanese anglicism by Japanese boxing promoter Yosamu Nogusi for a hybrid martial art combining Muay Thai and Karate which he had introduced in 1958. The term was later also adopted by the American variant. Since there has been a lot of cross-fertilization between these styles, with many practitioners training or competing under the rules of more than one style, the history of the individual styles cannot be seen in isolation from one another. The French term box pied points is also used in the sense of kickboxing, in the general meaning, including French boxing as well as American and Japanese kickboxing, Burmese and Thai boxing, any style of full contact karate, etc. Arts labeled as kickboxing in the general sense include the Indo-Chinese family of kickboxing sports including Khmer Pradal Sere, similar to Muay Thai with an emphasis on elbow techniques, also known as Kun Khmer. Thai Muay Baran, predecessor of Muay Thai, allows the use of headbutts. Thai kickboxing or Muay Thai, the modern Thai martial art with strong emphasis on knee and elbow strikes. Burmese Lithway, a traditional Burmese martial art of which has now grown into a popular kickboxing event with strong emphasis on knee, elbow strikes and headbutt. Any part of the body may be used to strike and be struck. It is also known as Bando kickboxing. Laotian Muay Lao, Laotian boxing which is similar to Muay Thai Filipino Yuyan, Sai or Enkamatayan is the proper name for Yuyan, a Filipino martial art developed by Napoleon Fernandez. The art resembles Muay Thai in essence, but differs in the hip-talking motion as well as downward-cutting nature of its kicks and with strong emphasis on delivering attacks from long range. Indian Musti Yuda and Adathada, a form of kickboxing that uses knee, elbow and forehead strikes in southern Kalari Piyashu. French Savate, a historical sport which developed in the 19th century, 
modern competition-oriented hybrid martial arts that developed in parallel with Japanese and American kickboxing. Any style of full-contact karate sander, the applicable component of wushu, kung fu of which takedowns and throws are legal in competition as well, as all other sorts of striking. Shoot boxing, a Japanese form of kickboxing which allows throwing and submission while standing, similar to sander. History Overview Since kickboxing is a broad term that can be used both in a wide and narrow sense, this can make understanding the history somewhat difficult. Some of the earliest forms of kickboxing included the various Indo-Chinese martial arts especially Muay Baran, which developed into modern Muay Thai. However, in terms of modern competition, it was during the 1950s that a Japanese karateka named Tatsuo Yamada first established an outline of a new sport that combined karate and Muay Thai. This was further explored during the early 1960s when competitions between karate and Muay Thai began, which allowed for rule modifications to take place. By the middle of the decade the first true kickboxing events were being held in Osaka. By the 1970s and 1980s the sport had expanded beyond Japan and had reached North America and Europe. It was during this time that many of the most prominent governing bodies were formed. In Japan the sport was widely popular and was regularly broadcast on television before going into a dark period during the 1980s. In North America the sport had unclear rules so kickboxing and full contact karate were essentially the same sport. In Europe the sport found marginal success but did not thrive until the 1990s. Since the 1990s the sport has been mostly dominated by the Japanese K1 promotion, with some competition coming from other promotions and mostly pre-existing governing bodies. Along with the growing popularity in competition, there has been an increased amount of participation and exposure in the mass media, fitness, and self-defense. Japan on December 20, 1959, a Muay Thai among Thai fighters was held at Tokyo Asakusa Town Hall in Japan. Tatsuo Yamada, who established Nihon Kenpo Karate Do, was interested in Muay Thai because he wanted to perform karate matches with full contact rules since practitioners are not allowed to hit each other directly in karate matches. At this time, it was unimaginable to hit each other in karate matches in Japan. He had already announced his plan which was named the Draft Principles of Project of Establishment of a New Sport in its Industrialization in November 1959, and he proposed the tentative name of Karate Boxing for this new sport. It is still unknown whether N.A.K. Mue were invited by Yamada. But it is clear that Yamada was the only karateka who was really interested in Muay Thai. Yamada invited a champion N.A.K. Mue and started studying Muay Thai. At this time, the Thai fighter was taken by Osamu Noguchi who was a promoter of boxing and was also interested in Muay Thai. The Thai fighter's photo was on the magazine, The Primer of Nippon Kempo Karate Do, the first number, which was published by Yamada. There were, Karate vs. Muay Thai Fights, February 12, 1963. The three karate fighters from Oyama Dojo went to the Lumpini Boxing Stadium in Thailand and fought against three Muay Thai fighters. The three Gyokusin karate fighters names Itadashi Nakamura, Kenji Kurosaki and Akio Fujihira. Japan won by 2-1. Tadashi Nakamura and Akio Fujihira both code opponents by punch while Kenji Kurosaki was code by elbow. This should be noted that the only Japanese loser Kenji Kurosaki was then a Kyokusin instructor rather than a contender and temporarily designated as a substitute for the absent chosen fighter. Nogusi studied Muay Thai and developed a combined martial art which Nogusi named kickboxing, which absorbed and adopted more rules than techniques from Muay Thai. The main techniques of kickboxing is still derived from Japanese full-contact karate. 
However, throwing and butting were allowed in the beginning to distinguish it from Muay Thai. This was later repealed. The Kickboxing Association, the first kickboxing sanctioning body, was founded by Osamu Noguchi in 1966 soon after that. Then the first kickboxing event was held in Osaka on April 11, 1966. Tatsu Yamada died in 1967, but his dojo changed its name to Suginami Gym and kept sending kickboxes off to support kickboxing. Kickboxing boomed and became popular in Japan as it began to be broadcast on TV. By 1970, kickboxing was telecast in Japan on three different channels three times weekly. The fight cards regularly included bouts between Japanese and Thai boxes. Tadashi Sawamura was an especially popular early kickboxer. In 1971 the All Japan Kickboxing Association was established and it registered approximately 700 kickboxes. The first AJKA commissioner was Shintero Ishihara, the longtime governor of Tokyo. Champions were in each weight division from fly to middle. Longtime Ilyushina Noboru Osawa won the AJKA bantamweight title, which he held for years. Raymond Edler, an American university student studying at Sofia University in Tokyo, took up kickboxing and won the AJKC middleweight title in 1972. He was the first non-Thai to be officially ranked in the sport of Thai boxing, when in 1972 Raja Damon ranked him no. 3 in the middleweight division. Edler defended the All Japan title several times and abandoned it. Other popular champions were Toshio Fujiwara and Mitsu Oshima. Most notably, Fujiwara was the first non-Thai to win an official Thai boxing title, when he defeated his Thai opponent in 1978 at Rajadamurn Stadium winning the lightweight championship bout. By 1980, due to poor ratings in then infrequent television coverage, the golden age of kickboxing in Japan was suddenly finished. Kickboxing had not been seen on TV until K1 was founded in 1993. In 1993, as Kazuyoshi Ishii produced K1 under special kickboxing rules in 1993, kickboxing became famous again. In the mid-1980s to early 1990s, before the first K-1, Kazuyoshi Ishii also partook in the formation of glove karate as an amateur sport in Japan. Glove karate is based on knockdown karate rules, but wearing boxing gloves and allowing punches to the head. In effect it is oriental rules kickboxing with scoring based on knockdowns and aggression rather than the number of hits. As K-1 grew in popularity, glove karate for a while became the fastest growing amateur sport in Japan. North America Count Dante, Ray Scarica and Mong Gya held the United States' as earliest cross-style full-contact style martial arts tournaments as early as 1962. Between 1970 and 1973 a handful of kickboxing promotions were staged across the USA. In the early days, the rules were never clear, one of the first tournaments had no weight divisions and all the competitors fought off until one was left. During this early time, kickboxing and full contact karate are essentially the same sport. The institutional separation of American full contact karate from kickboxing occurred with the formation of the Professional Karate Association in 1974 and of the World Kickboxing Association in 1976. They were the first organized body of martial arts on a global scale to sanction fights, create ranking systems, and institute a development program. The International Sport Kickboxing Association, operated by Mike Sawyer, Mike McCoy, Scott Coker, and Corey Schaefer, has been the lone organization to have thrived in the modern era. After ending its venture with K-1 in 2006, ISKA co-operated the World Combat League with Chuck Norris and Strike Force MMA in partnership with Silicon Valley Entertainment, an investor group who also own the San Jose Sharks.
Norris passed the WCL to his son-in-law Damien Dicioli in 2007, and it has since become an active. Strikeforce MMA was sold to UFC in 2011. The ISKA sanctions over 500 kickboxing and mixed martial arts events each year worldwide. It sanctions and is instrumental in the operation of the Glory Kickboxing Group out of Holland that currently promotes in the U.S. and other countries and the Bellator MMA Group, owned by the Viacom Media Company and broadcast regularly on Spike TV. The ISKA expanded into sport martial arts about 15 years ago, and is a co-operator along with WAKO and Global Marketing Ventures in the Global Open World Tour the first trip true worldwide pro circuit of sport, karate professional competitors. It sanctions and assists in the annual U.S. Open and ISKA World Championships that anchors the OWT and the North American-based NASKA Tour. The U.S. Open and ISKA World Championships is broadcast live on ESPN2 and ESPN3 each year. The International Kickboxing Federation was founded in 1992 by Steve Fossum. Other kickboxing sanctioning bodies include World Association of Kickboxing Organizations and Kick International. Europe American kickboxing was promulgated in Germany from its inception in the 1970s by Georg F. Bruckner, who in 1976 was co-founder of the World Association of Kickboxing Organizations. The term kickboxing, as used in German-speaking Europe is therefore mostly synonymous with American kickboxing. The elbow and knee techniques allowed in Japanese kickboxing by contrast were associated with Muay Thai, and Japanese kickboxing went mostly unnoticed in German-speaking Europe before the launch of K1 in 1993. By contrast, in the Netherlands kickboxing was introduced in its Japanese form by Jan Plaas and Tom Harink who founded NKBB in 1976. Harinkul also founded the MTBN in 1983, and the WMTA and the EMTA in 1984. The most prominent kickboxing gyms in Netherlands, Majiro Gym, Chakuriki Gym and Golden Glory, were all derived from or were significantly influenced by Japanese kickboxing and Kyokushin Karate. Dutch athletes have been very successful in the K1 competitions. Out of the 19 K1 World Grand Prix Championship titles issued from 1993 to 2012, 15 went to Dutch participants. The remaining four titles were won by Branko Sikatic of Croatia in 1993, Andy Hug of Switzerland in 1996. Mark Hunt of New Zealand in 2001 and Mirko Filipovic of Croatia in 2012.